me, but that's a nice name for any business, and it especially was for the beauty and barber salon. We opened here in 1991. In 95, we start working seven days a week. And I've been working seven days a week since 1995. My father's 89 years old. We're in the middle of a pandemic. What are you gonna do? It wasn't an easy decision, but it was a decision that had to be made uh, in order to protect the community. They know they're gonna get a smile when they walk in the door. They know if they have a problem, we're gonna take care of it. The entertainment here was free. We did not follow that rule about you're not supposed to talk about religion or politics. No, you walk into Geneva, you gonna hear it all because that's what we do here. This is what we do. We air it out and we ain't judged as long as it's clean and family friendly. <laughs> a family, institution, a neighborhood, a community icon is moving on. After 30 years in this building, 30 plus years. Oh, it's been devastating for the employees and for the customers. Some of them have been coming here 25 and 30 years, you know. It's, it's, it's been a labor of love. I miss seeing everybody because, you know, I got 15, 20 hugs a day <laughs> and some kisses. And now I just <laughs> sit around and watch Netflix all day long. <laughs> yeah, that's Geneva right there, boy, I tell you. The sign outside that says the Geneva Knowles Building, that's what we named it right after she passed. So it is still in the family, and we'll be in the family, you know, some days after I'm gone, I'm sure if the kids want to sell it, they'll be up to them, but I won't sell it. To have a, uh, a husband and a wife work for themselves as African Americans in the whitest city in America for over 50 years. You can't make that up. That's why I wanted to find an African-American family to come in and run the business in a black-owned building. The historical content of this transition is huge. Joe Brown's Carmel Court. He will be moving in here. Keys, loaded kitchen. She will be a part of that. You want some chicken and some fish? I'll be back another time when we have time to chat. All right. That makes the transition easier to know that uh, two people that are passionate about their business and just thirsty for the success are gonna move into this building. It was a hard decision, but I just want them to know that Joe Brown's Carmel car is still gonna have a place to park, gonna get good service. I want every person that ever walked through this door to know that <laughs> we couldn't have done it without them. We will always be a part of them and they'll always be a part of us.